Hi, welcome to Air TV. I've got Jason with me. We just beaten Brighton 2 0 here at the Emirates. A good win in the end, controlled. A lot of people said it, we completely controlled that game. Nervous at any moment, or was it a good, great performance from Arsenal? The word I would use is professional, right? Because I think fundamentally that's what that was. Um, I think Brighton and Spurs are probably the two sides with the lowest percentage of long kicks right. uh, in in the league. Yeah, they played so, out from the back, so even though they're getting caught out. Yeah, by they, bit, and yeah. they were insistent. I think yeah. I literally think the keeper only went long once yeah. in, in in the whole in the whole ninety. Um, so what you do know is that you know you're going to get opportunities and you know that if you can force them into mistakes yeah, yeah. And, and there were times when we tried to do that by the same token there were some times where some of their some of their play and some of the way that they some of the way that they broke out and some of the way that they got out was absolutely exceptional so yeah. they're a good side and that comes with it's that risk and reward isn't it you yeah. manage to turn midfields um, and then look to get him behind but fundamentally even if they did try to get him behind actually Rice was there Havertz was there oh, the, yeah, yeah so yeah. or Saliba would clear it up or Gabriel would clear it up so even when they were able to get out with the, they weren't threatening which then just gave us a, again a bit more impetus to go and just push a little bit higher and a little bit higher and a little bit higher and I thought we were really aggressive with mm. the press the press was really well coordinated um, and fundamentally we gave us and that's why you get that many that number of shots that number of turnovers in, in, in the final third and you're able to kind of control the game and when you win it back then you're back in possession and and, and, you, and you look to get the ball down and play again. So for me, that's why yeah. I'm saying professional. The um, best, b b best home performance in the league this season for you or not? There's been United. There's been. I think in terms, City, yeah, I think I think in terms, yeah, I, I do, yeah, I think that's exactly. I think it's a different type of performance because I think that's like performance where you know what you're going to get and you know that if you switch off. Mm. They will turn you, and they will, and, and they'll get in, and and, and and they'll put you under pressure. Um, but fundamentally, from the front right to the back, we were the, the press was so well orchestrated, so well coordinated. We didn't really give them the opportunities. And I think you know the other thing when I talk about professional is actually like someone like Havertz today not getting booked. Yeah. Havertz not getting booked means he, he's available for the Anfield yeah. game. So when I talk about professionalism, there's they're like there are so many layers to it. I like that. Um, and fundamentally, those are the sorts of things again that over the course of a season will. Will be will, will be really determining factors yeah, because I think margins, because it? I think next week going into Anfield I think the the, the, the midfield battle is where that game is mm -hmm. where that game is won and lost is it yeah for me yeah, it is I, I think for, for me they've I, got some I, deadly it, attackers though yeah but, they're yeah, but I think if their midfield if their midfield can't get, get the, ball the ball to the attackers yeah, in the, you know and that's and you know we talk, we spoke today about Saka and, and and about um and about Martinelli well, yeah, you know yeah. we were able to kind of get them in one v one situations where they probably had more space and freedom than they've had in a lot of games because yeah. you know Brighton again because they're quite aggressive in 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 the way they play and they believe in their principles mm. they're not gonna keep doubling up and tripling up on Saka and Martinelli they're going to go actually we trust our players 1v1 um, you know not all 1v1s are equal and you would look at it and go Saka versus um, uh, uh, the old guy from Liverpool Milner. Milner, Milner, that's yeah, the one, yeah. <laughs> He's been mm. playing so long, I couldn't even remember his name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, but, but, but that's the one of those situations where you're looking at it and going, actually, like, he should get some real, real, real joy. And I know when, um, I think Veltman went off and, yeah. and, they brought the, and they brought the young lad on again, Martinelli was able to kind of get in and get, and, and then when he got into those situations, that, that's when you then ask him for that little bit of composure and that little bit of quality. And I, Whilst I said the performance was professional, the one thing I would say is I thought there was a little bit too much showboating mm. at nil nil and at one nil. Yeah, Jesus yeah. and Jesus and Martinelli doing like all the through the legs, they're, 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 they're bouncing off the shoulders and doing all the stuff. Yeah. And Jesus doing the no looks and that sort of yeah. stuff. And I, and I thought at, at one nil that like at one nil I didn't feel I didn't feel overly comfortable and confident with that. Yeah. Got over the line. Um, and I don't want to see that at Anfield. Do yeah. not, do not want to start seeing Hayes trying to do no looks and Martinelli bouncing off the shoulders and trying to. Yeah. yeah no. I just want just to round up then. Okay, you spoke about Anfield there. Just to finish up, confident for that. Do you think if you put a performance like that today at Anfield, we win the game? Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do. Like, like I said, I think. I think the midfield is the one that's going to, the midfield battle is the one that's going to determine that game. And I think that, you know, I, I still don't think when I watch Liverpool, they've got the balance in their midfield right. Um, and I think that we've actually been building that. And I think, you know, that role that Havertz is, is starting to play. You look at that Xhaka role that Xhaka was playing last season in terms of getting in, being late in the box, uh, scoring goals, holding the midfield, piecing the midfield together, being someone that can kind of link the midfield and the attack more so maybe than a Rice and, and, and an Erdegaard, but also pop up with really important goals. Yeah. Havertz is doing that. Um, and I think Erdegaard, again, I thought he was, I thought he was majestic today. I thought he was so, you know, so silky. Again, you, you, you want a bit more 
little bit, little bit more going forward, a little bit more in that. But you know, but he does have that quality. That, like you said, that outside of the foot pass to, to, to Saka, yeah. absolute quality. Some of the turns, some of the, some of the, some of the opportunities that he gets to trying to turn and bring other players into play, like, it's like it's, yeah, it's ab- and, it, and it's so it's so pivotal. And I don't look at Liverpool midfield and think that they've like so is a good good player. I'm not saying yeah. he's not a good player. McAllister's a good player. I'm not yeah, saying he's not a good player. But what I'm saying is, if I think if I look at the balance of their midfield, I think the balance of our midfield is spot on, and I'm still thinking they're working on theirs a little bit. And I think if we can go there next week and be confident and be dominant, I think we take all three points.